Okay, this lesson video is going to introduce to you how to get an image and go into Photoshop and actually cut that image out and drop out the background using a couple of different tools. Whenever you log on, one of the first things you should do is actually open up the server and get into Mimosa. Click on Mimosa, say connect, and once you're here, our username is jstudent001 and you should know our password and if you don't you can ask me and you'll press connect and Holmes journalism will pop up there you're gonna need that for this project now we're gonna start by getting an image most of the time when we do this we're creating something for a publication and we don't want to pull things off of the internet but um, for this tutorial I'm going to show you if you ever do need to get an image off of the internet um, instead of one that you've taken yourself with a camera um, we can do that and there's a right way to do that in a wrong way so you're gonna to go to Launchpad and launch Google Chrome and you're going to go to Google Image Search right here where it says Images. And you see it says Google Images. And then you're going to type in whatever it is you're looking a uh, whatever it is you're looking for a picture of. So because I'm showing um, how to make a little personal poster, I'm going to make mine over Chance the Rapper. So I typed in Chance the Rapper. I've got all these images up here, but there's a trick. Um, we don't want to pick an image that is sized so small that when we blow it up, it pixelates. Every image is made up of a bunch of small, tiny dots of color. Um, those are called pixels. And we're looking for an image that has a lot of pixels packed into every inch. Because the fewer pixels there are, as you make the photo larger, those uh, blocks will become visible. And that's where you get those little square looking things. So we want a large image. and um, we want one that's very clear and not blurry. So one way to help with that is on Google Image Search, you see tools here. Click Tools, go to Size and Large. Okay, so these are supposedly large images. Now I'm going to tell you right now, when you start going through these photos, if you click on them, you'll notice some of them, that one's pretty clear, you'll notice some of them are small. And, and if it comes up small like that, you can bet that it's going to be blurry. Um, when you look at it. So we're looking for images that are really clear um, that we want to use for our poster. Okay. Again, see this is an example of an image that says it's large, but you can already see it's sort of blurry there. So I'm going to click on this image. It looks really clear and sharp. It looks big enough. And what I'm going to do is very simply when I have the image I want here, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it and drop it on my desktop. And there it is. Now once I have this image, I can actually close out of Google Chrome and I'm going to set this over here. We're not going to end up saving this image because we're just going to cut out the part we want from it. Um, if you want to make sure that your image is of good quality, you can double click it. It will open it up in preview and it should pop up pretty big like this. And We know that it's going to be a pretty good quality. If you double click it and it pops up as a really small image about this size, um, you might need to go back and find something better. But once you've done that, you can close that out. And we're going to go over and launch Adobe Photoshop. So when you go to the launch pad, you're looking for the PS, Adobe Photoshop. And we're going to launch that. It might take a minute or two for Photoshop to launch. Um, it takes a, it's a lot of tools in there, so it takes a while to load up. But once it loads up, you should see something like this. Once we get here, you're going to go to File open by the way mine may look a little different than yours it depends on whether you have Photoshop um, Creative Cloud 2017 or 2018 um, and we're gonna look here this is the, where you can navigate to find files okay there's lots of different ways to list them um, that's what these things do you can drop down to your frequently used places but most of the time you're gonna look here um, for what you're looking for and you're looking for your desktop if for some reason you don't see your desktop there if you go to your username you can go also to desktop and find it that way as well. Um, you're going to click on the photo that you're going to use from your desktop and you're going to press open. And now I have this photo in here. We're going to do a couple of things to this photo. Um, 
we're going to use some different tools to cut out Chance the Rapper. There are lots of different tools you could actually use to, to complete this process. Um, there's all sorts of selection tools where you can delete out a space um, like that. You can do different things. Um, but we're going to use this tool. Um, if you click down any tool that has a little uh, mark in the quarter, if you click down and hold down on it, you'll see that there are some options. So there's the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. We're going to use this magnetic lasso tool, and I'm going to show you how it works. This black arrow, wherever you click it, it's going to put a dot. And as long as you trace along the edge, it will continue predicting what you're trying to cut out. Now, sometimes if you go off course here, it'll start putting dots where you don't want them. All you have to do is retrace your steps and press the delete key, and it will go back to where you want it. Um, sometimes you also may find that you want to force a dot somewhere. It's not putting a dot and you want it to. If you just click on the mouse where you want it, it will add that dot. I'm clicking there. And other than that, we're just tracing. Um, sometimes when you get to the bottom here, you have to force a lot of dots because it doesn't want to do a straight line. We can clean up that line when we put this in InDesign, which is where we're ultimately going with it. But you might need to force some clicks along the bottom sometimes. Trace it up. And we're just going to trace along this area. Again, like I said, along the bottom, sometimes you have to force some clicks. We're tracing. Oh, sometimes little things get picked up. Sometimes hair can be tricky. So you've got sometimes if you've got a picture in their hair, um, is they got long hair and it's 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 uh, flowing or something. You might have to kind of as best as you can follow the individual strands. But mine is going pretty smoothly here. I want to be careful when we get over here to the face and the hands. It's following it pretty well. So we'll come around the end there. Now here's the trick. Once you get back to your first dot, you want to hover over it. And you notice that a circle popped up on our little magnet lasso icon. That circle means if we click there, it closes the image and we have it cut out. So the next step you would do once you've got it like this is you're going to go to edit, cut. You can also notice that there's commands for this. You could do command X, but we're going to cut that image out and you'll notice chance is gone. Whenever you copy or cut something, the computer saves it on something called the clipboard. And the clipboard saves that image. And here's what's really cool. Um, the next step of this process is we're going to go to Photoshop up here where it says Photoshop CC. We're going to go to File, New. And we're opening up a new Photoshop document. And the computer's already guessing what we're going to do. It should give you a clipboard option. And that means do you want it to be the size of the thing that you just cut out or copied? So we're going to select that one and we're going to say Create. I have this here, and before I paste my image in, I want to do a couple things. Layers are very important to Photoshop, um, and you want to have some flexibility with layers. Right now, we just have a plain white background layer. Um, the problem is if we paste on this, then we're going to have a white background no matter what other background we choose. There will be a big white square, so we don't want that. We're going to unlock the background layer. It changes the name to Layer 0. We're going to go to Layer, New Layer. And we're going to say OK. You'll notice this new layer now is checkered with gray and white. That means it's transparent. So we're actually going to take this layer 0. We're going to click on it and drag it into this trash can here so that we just have this nice transparent layer. And we're going to go to Edit, Paste. Now, <clears throat> once I paste it here, you'll notice there's still some pieces of this that need to be cut out. So I'm going to take my same tool I was using, the magnetic lasso, and this part that's trapped. I'm just going to go through, cut that out, and press delete. And there we go. So now, instead of cutting that out, I just deleted it. And now this is ready to go. So anything I set this image on, if it's a red background, a blue background, a black background, that's what color is going to come through. So once you have it cut out like this and ready to go, you're going to go to File, Save As. Um, we can leave it as a Photoshop format. You can always click on this arrow to see where you're saving it. In this case, we want to save it on the server. You always want to pay attention to where you're saving something so you can make sure you have access to it and um, you can get to it when you need to. So the server is Mimosa here. We're going to go to Holmes Journalism. 
for this, I'm going to say that we're looking for a fifth period folder. You look for whatever folder is your class period or wherever the project belongs. And if there's not a, a place that I already want you to save it, you're going to need to create a new folder in there. So when you have that folder selected, you're going to go to new folder down here and title it your name. So I'm going to title it my name. And um, some of y'all have the same first name. So usually first and last works. Okay, so you're going to say create. And there's my folder. It's selected. We're going to title this document. I'm going to title it Chance Cutout because it's a cutout. And I'm leaving that .psd because that tells what kind of document it is. And I'm going to press save. I'm going to say okay when it asks me this. And now if I go check in the server, in the period folder, there's my cutout ready to go. So you should know how to do that. If you need to rewind and stop, you can do that.